Good morning. It is Thursday, January 28th. Sorry, I don't have any pictures to show you today. Instead, I want to take you down memory lane in a different kind of way. Today's a special anniversary for me. Eight years ago today, I received a brand new left hip. My hip had been bothering me for a couple of years beforehand. What, as I always say, one of the gifts that my mom left me was osteoarthritis. The left hip was the first to go, followed very shortly six months later by my right hip. I was really filled with a lot of trepidation about that surgery, as you can well imagine. I also looked at a lot of hip replacement surgeries on YouTube. I can't begin to tell you the number of them I watched. And I did so so that I could familiarize myself with what I was going to undergo. And therefore, at least for me, it made me much less worried because I already knew what it was going to be all about. Yes, I hadn't experienced it firsthand myself yet, but at least I knew what to expect. And I have to tell you that the whole process was really smooth. I can't thank my surgeon, Dr. McComas, enough for the wonderful job that he did, both on the left hip as well as the right hip. And I know we have other work to do yet over the years. And I also can't thank enough Community Hospital. Community Hospital in our neighborhood is a wonderful facility. They do a great job for people in all sorts of different kinds of areas. I have nothing but praise for them. Well, eight years ago, I got my new lease on life. I was finally pain-free in that left hip. You know, they say that the fear of the pain you're going to undergo is nothing compared to the pain that you live with on a daily basis. So for those of you that might still be fighting um, to go to see a doctor because you know your hip is bad, but you're very frightened, don't be. It's an easy process. Get through it very quickly. I'm thankful for the eight years I've had thus far and look forward to many more with the hips and, as I say, probably a few other replacements on the way. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, I hope that you have a blessed day today and I hope that God watches over you. And if you are in need of any kind of medical or surgical intervention, that God points you to the right people. God bless you this day and every day of your lives.